so hello guys welcome to my third, third lecture on w reinforced beam in this lecture i'll be taking analysis problem on w reinforced beam so this problem number two we have to determine the ultimate moment of resistance of a w reinforced beam with following details so in all analysis problem either we need to calculate the design load or design moment so in this problem we need to calculate ultimate moment of resistance for the w reinforced beam with the following details so the beam width is 350 mm and this this is your effective cover this part this part effective cover is 60 mm effective depth is 600 mm your effective depth area of steel in tension is 2945 mm square which is which is equals to 6 number of 25 dia bar area of steel in compression is 1256 mm square which is 4 numbers of 20 dia bar FCK that is concrete grade is 20 MPa FY is steel grade is 415 steel grade FE415 steel grade and this is concrete grade Grid. So, so the first step in solving this problem is uh, we need to first calculate x u max, x u max, and then and we need to find whether the section is over reinforced or under reinforced. Find whether section is section is over reinforced or over reinforced or under reinforced the first step is to, in this step one we have step a that is sub step of step one that is to calculate x u max so x u max for fe415 we have formula 0.48 d your effective depth 0.48 times effective depth 48 into effective depth is 600 mm which is equals to 280 mm so depth of neutral axis x u max is 288 mm now we need to calculate we need to find whether the section is over reinforced or under reinforced so for that we need to calculate first epsilon st which is equals to epsilon c d minus x u max upon x u max so epsilon c is mostly constant for this formula this the grade of concrete so which is equals to 3 5 so epsilon st is equals to 0 0.0035 effective depth is effective depth is 600 mm x u max 288 upon x u max 288 which is equals to 0 0 0 point 0 0 3 7 9 this is your epsilon t as per your design now we need to calculate yield strain this is your design strain strain as per your design so yield strain yield strain we need to compare after calculating yield strain and this est we need to compare this should be yield strain should be greater than your silent st so which is equals to of fe141 yield strain of if it's 415 is equals to fy upon 1.15 ps which is your modulus of elasticity elasticity of steel plus 0 0.002 which is equals to 415 is your grade of steel into upon 1. 1.5 into your 
modulus of elastic modulus elasticity is 2 into 10 raised to 5 plus 0 0.002 which is equals to 0 0 3 8 which is greater than 0 0 0.003379 this value we have already calculated here we have to compare this value this epsilon s epsilon st so epsilon st should be lesser than your yield strain of that particular grade of concrete so if here it is fe 500 so we have to calculate this for fe 500 like if there was fe 250 then we have to compare this for fe 250 so now since we have the yield strain is greater than your epsilon st so we have a over reinforced section hence hence the section is hence section is over reinforced over reinforced if this 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 was less than this then the section was under reinforced so now first step is over now second step two in step two we have to calculate mu limiting and ast limiting so mu limiting and calculation of ast limiting so mu limiting we have formula we have been already using this formula i just note down this formula x u max on d 1 minus 0.42 x u max upon d this into b d square f c k b d square f c k this is because of lesser space i have just written this part so not lesser space i have moved this way that's why I was not getting proper sp space so i'm not going to write everything i'm just going to write the value of mu limiting in terms of kilonewton meter because you can you have x u max you have effective depth you have x u max again then your effective depth that is d this is known b is known this is known everything is known so i'm directly writing the value 47.67 this is kilonewton in terms of kilonewton so we have x mu limiting now uh, AST limiting for grade AST limiting the limiting we have 0.96% 0.96 for 4 415 and 250 0.96% 0.96 into B into D upon 100 which is equals to 2 Two zero one six mm square. So this is your AST limiting, and this is your MU limiting. Now for doubly reinforced section, we in the step three, we need to calculate AST two, AST two, and ASC. This AST two is because your extra moment, which will be resisted by your extra reinforcement provided so so area of steel in compression this is area of steel in compression so area of steel in compression we have formula in terms of ast2 so area of steel in compression is equals to ast2.87 f5 fsc fcc so we have from the table i have already in the previous lecture i have used this this table for fsc there are two tables this one is another table and this where d d d dash by d ratio so using this table we can calculate fsc by interpolation linear interpolation so an fcc is nothing but your 0.446 fck so First, to calculate FSC, we need to we need to have epsilon SC. So epsilon SC is equals to 0 0.0035. This is epsilon C. XU max minus D dash <coughs> upon XU max, which is equals to 0 0.0035. XU max is 288 minus 60 d dash is 60 upon x u max 288 
which is equals to which is equals to 0 0.002771 so from the table this table by linear interpolation the table I have already shown this table <coughs> by linear interpolation we can have the formula we can have FSC FSC is equals to 351 351.2 896 Newton mm, square. So we have FSC. So we can calculate ASC. So ASC, ASC is equals to AST2, AST2, that is AST2 AST into 0.87 FI. 415 upon FSC minus FCC. Now <coughs> we, we don't know that we know this, 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 this is so AST2 AST2 is nothing but your AST2 is nothing but the difference between AST minus AST <coughs> limiting. <coughs> So AST is 2945, 2945, AST limiting is 2016, we are by using 0.96%, we have calculated this in the previous step, so this is equals to 929 mm square, so ASC is equals to 929.87 into 415, FSC is 351.89 minus 0.44620 that is your rate of contract which is equals to 977.956 mm square. So now we have AST2, we have ASC, now we need to calculate MU2. MU2 is ASC into FSC minus FCC D minus T dash. So which is equals to, I'll directly write because we know ASC, uh, we, know we have ASC, FSC, FCC, D, D dash. So I'll directly write the moment in terms of kilonewton meter, which is equals to 1. 81.12 kilonewton meter so a ultimate moment mu is equals to mu limiting plus mu2 this is the summation of mu limiting and mu2 is the ultimate moment of resistance which is equals to 347.67 plus 181.12 <coughs> which is equals to 528 Point seven nine kilonewton meter. So this is your MU limiting. So we were asked we were asked to calculate the MU limiting. Not MU limiting. This is not MU limiting your ultimate moment of resistance. Ultimate moment of resistance. This is your ultimate moment of resistance. Ultimate ultimate moment of resistance. So hope you understood this problem. Now we need just we need to we need to verify one check with where we have to state that area of steel provided that is AST2 that is AST is is equals to AST limiting plus AST2 which is equals to 212016 plus 929 which is equals to 2945 oh, we have provided we have provided 2945 and ASC ASC as per our calculation is required to be 977 977 
977.956 which is less than which is less than ASC provided which was which was 91956 hence hence okay so we have been asked uh, to calculate ultimate moment of resistance but we have just verified the area of steel required and area of steel provided so hope this analysis problem is clear so in the next lecture we will be taking some other problems like flanged beam and after that we'll move to other topics like columns your slabs your uh, uh, foundation those topics will be taken separately so this was your last lecture for doubly reinforced beam hope you have understood all the all the problems uh, that uh, design step explanation lecture also if you have any query you can ask in comment section so i hope you like this uh, enjoy this video so please keep watching as academicus for structural engineering lectures so, so till then bye have a nice day take care